Que rollo mi gente, what's going on? It's your boy Oscar Lozano. I am super excited. Why? Finally, after vlogging a whole year with the GoPro Hero 4, Christmas got here a little early. We're upgrading and we're doing my first unboxing to the GoPro Hero 7. Have a nice straight. Stick around. The coffee has not kicked on. <laughs> the coffee has not kicked on. I'm <sighs> a Santa cup. Life is good. Try this one. You try this one. Woo! Sugar! Dang, that's some sugary coffee. I think I'll stick to mine. Anyways, focus. How you doing? It's been a while, huh? Every video I've done for the past year has been with the GoPro Hero 4 and I'm ready for a total upgrade. So today we're gonna do a little bit of a unboxing, my first unboxing ever here on the channel. We're gonna be talking about the amazing, amazing stabilization that is supposed to come with. And also the second feature that I'm really excited about is the time warp, aka hyperlapse. So without further ado, let's get into it. actually using audio from inside the GoPro which by the way I hear is awesome also. I've always just been used to the fact that I have an external mic but with the Hero 7 you have to have an external adapter, a Pro 3.5 millimeter mic adapter. So I already got that ahead of time. We're gonna be digging into that. I also got an aluminum case because I just like to have that extra protection. And this is just a photography mount, double mount. Oh yeah. I already know that I'm not going to be messing around with batteries. It's always a good idea to have extra batteries, so obviously I also got myself dual battery charger. Can't go wrong with having an extra battery out there. That's the worst thing you do. Be out there trying to get footage and then of course you run out of, of a battery. So it's always good to have that. that the GoPro Hero 4 had and that I've experienced personally over the last year is that it has horrible, horrible stabilization. If you've ever had the chance of using any GoPro, you would know that stabilization wise, uh, you can usually get pretty shaky footage. No ifs, buts, and maybe the body. You get pretty shaky stuff. And so, as you're out there recording your footage, you just have to learn how to keep it steady. You have to just try your best, period. But with this new upgrade, the camera itself, it's doing it. Look, I am not a professional. I, I'm not a super technical kind of guy. All I know is that they fixed it. They've actually just decided to call it the gimbal killer. This is the gimbal killer. Will it be the gimbal killer? It, it, it pretty much looks like it so far. I've been, you know, on the, on the YouTube, I've been searching about it and it looks amazing. And as soon as I saw it, I said, I one one. I've been just kind of, you know, waiting for the holidays to show up. Here we are finally. Talking about which, I feel like I'm forgetting something. Just hold on a second. Ah, much better, right? Now that I got my Christmas hat on, I guess we can continue.
little and it fits your birthday groove on the rhythm that you rock and roll and roundabout that actually made me break a sweat what do you guys think i can't wait to get back to uh, the studio and check it out but in the meantime as you might already know i've never been a fan of the actual audio of the gopro 4 so i went ahead and upgraded as soon as i could to the rode video micro that's what i've been using this whole time okay guys time for an audio comparison on my right once again we have the gopro hero 4 on my left we have the gopro hero 7 Right now you are hearing directly the sound that is coming from each of the GoPros. What do you guys think? GoPro Hero 7 on my left, GoPro Hero 4 on my right. This is the sound that you're directly hearing coming out of the GoPro. No filters, no change. I keep hearing that obviously they've made a huge, huge improvement coming down to the GoPro 7 compared to the past GoPros. So what do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section. Do you guys hear any difference? Do you, do you guys think there's actually been an improvement? Do you guys think that there could be still some work to do regarding sound? I'll let you guys be the judge. And we're back in the studio, guys. So, what is the big takeaway here? What is the big conclusion? After all that trial and error, after all that learning, getting out there and trying to figure out what it is that the new GoPro Hero 7 does, what is the big takeaway? What have we learned? Is the GoPro Hero 7 truly the ultimate gimbal killer? The gimbal killer! And the answer to that is actually rather simple. I would like to say yes, but I would also like to say no. Well, what do you mean Oscar? What do you mean yes and no? How can you be split down the middle? Yes, it's simple as that. I am kind of split down the middle. So let me tell you, let me tell you what I mean by that. Even though the GoPro Hero 7 has made some major improvements and has come a long way, specifically when it comes down to the new HyperSmooth, the new Time Warp feature, the big bump in audio quality, you don't have to take my word for it, but maybe you can take this guy's word for it. The audio is noticeably better. Or how about this guy? Oh man, Hero 7 Black's the best GoPro we've ever made. And of course, we cannot forget about that 4K at 60 frames per second, 2.7 at 120 frames, and last but not least, 1080p at 240 frames per second. Woo! That's some good quality. Let's just say that the GoPro Hero is still, still the top dog when it comes to action cameras. Guys, I just don't think you understand. I love GoPro. And no, I'm not getting paid to say that. I mean, I'm not making a single cent by saying that I love GoPro. I just do. So needless to say, for me personally, the need to own a gimbal has been thrown out the window. My recent upgrade from the GoPro Hero 4 to the GoPro Hero 7 has definitely taken care of my immediate need, which is non-shaky quality video footage. While the GoPro Hero 7 has definitely set a new standard and it's raised the bar to a whole nother level, higher than ever before, when it comes down to video stabilization, there are those that will definitely still argue that this is the gimbal killer. And well, that's, that's okay. At the end of the day, I guess it really comes down to personal opinion and your own personal video needs. If you don't already own a gimbal and you really don't want to dish out a whole lot of cash buying yourself a new one, then you really don't have to do that anymore. The GoPro Hero 7 will definitely take care of you. However, if you're more on the perfectionist side of things, then there are definitely more instances where you yourself might benefit more from the usage of an actual gimbal. If you're, if you're completely new to the GoPro world and you have no idea how to work them, never touched one and you yourself would like to learn a little bit more about them 
Let me introduce you to the name Mitch Bergsma. He's pretty much an expert when it comes down to all things GoPro at this point in time. He's been using them since forever. Matter of fact, he actually just made an awesome video regarding specifically the GoPro Hero 7 versus an actual gimbal. I'll go ahead and drop the link to his channel in the description below. Go check it out, see what there is to see. You might learn a thing or two. He's been there, done that. He's actually put him through the test. He's done the time when it comes down to putting him through his paces. He simply knows what he's talking about. So like I said, go check his channel out, give him a big thumbs up. I guarantee you that you will learn something new. Anyhow guys, that is all I have for today. If you like this type of content, make sure you let me know in the comment section below. If you found any type of value, if you found it helpful, please hit that like button. And do consider subscribing, hit that notification bell so that you may get notified every time I upload. Thank you for hanging out with me today. Now excuse me while I go ahead and continue geeking out on my new GoPro Hero 7. See you on the next one. Hold on, I, I almost forgot. Merry Christmas, guys. Feliz Navidad a todos. Get out there and be jolly. All right, go. Just go.